Yo, what is going on everybody? It is your boy, Dina Hype, come back to you guys with a brand new video. And I hope you guys are having a great day so far. In today's video, what you guys are going to be seeing is we're going to be covering the controversy topic covering on with Black Ops 4. And if you guys do not know what has been going on, there is the reserve cases that are just giving complete trash. If you guys have not seen my previous video, I will put an annotation in the top right part of the screen if you guys want to check it out. Basically, I unlocked the weapon bribe. I went ahead and opened it, and I got the Rampage Mark II. Now, when there is a Peacekeeper and a S6 Stingray in the game, and I couldn't get either one of those, or even a Ballistic Knife. Come on, Trader. You gave me a Mark II Rampage. Now, am I going to use that gun? Probably not. Would I use it if I'm trying to just mess around and troll? Maybe. But they need to fix these reserve cases because we're going to be covering an article that is basically talking about Treyarch that is actually addressing the problem and possibly putting in an update to fix the supply drop and reserve case topic. Now we're going to go ahead and get straight into things. So before I go any further, please remember if you guys are brand new to the channel, if you guys enjoy staying up to date with Call of Duty news and info whenever anything new drops, whether it be patch notes, updates, breaking news with war, modern warfare or even black ops 4 whenever it comes to updates and even just staying up to date with everything getting released with modern warfare or even whenever black ops 5 starts getting talked about more whenever it comes to call of duty in 2020 if you guys want to stay up to date with any of that type of stuff all you guys got to do is go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys are notified the second i post and also if you guys are going to enjoy don't forget to drop a like it's always much appreciated if you do so and without further ado let's get straight into things now, like I said, if you guys want to read the article, the link will be at the very bottom of the description. So if you guys want to read it by yourself, you guys can do so. Or if you guys want to just listen along as I read it, you guys can do that as well. Now, to start off here, it says, Trick developers of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 have announced that they will finally be making it easier for players to access non-duplicate DLC weapons following the controversy surrounding the way they were implemented. Now, since June 4th, Days of Summer update, many community members have been and critical on how new weapons were implemented into the game with all but one of the new weapons only accessible through black market reserve crates particularly criticism from the community was centered on the overpowered s6 stingray and the fact that the weapon bribe granted to players at tier 25 of the battle pass also includes the mark ii versions of weapons that are already in the game now these mark ii weapons can come in variations of the daemon the swat the Rampage, I believe the MX-9, and there's also a couple of other weapons that are Mark II variants. But moving on here, however, Treyarch recently announced the addition of contracts to Black Ops 4. Now, we have been discussing contracts a little bit as the information has been coming out. But as of now, you can it says here, which we can see players granted a greater opportunities to earn DLC weapons. Most notably, however, Ultra Weapon Bribes are being added to the game once these contracts do drop. Now, the first Ultra Weapon Bribe will give players a black market weapon that you don't own. Now, just like with the Weapon Bribe, it's basically going to be a non-duplicate. So say, like right now, I just got the Rampage Mark II. I will never get that out of that drop. I also have the SWAT and I believe the MX-9 Mark II. I will never get those kind of weapons. Out of the drops because it is a duplicate protected drop now it says here the the if you own any variant of your black market weapons then the ultra weapon bribes are going to hand out a mark II weapon a mastercraft or any other variant that you haven't unlocked yet like i said now the contracts are being added on tuesday june 25th when black ops 4 really received its latest significant update Players will undoubtedly be pleased with the better opportunities Treyarch are providing to earn DLC weapons. Now, Treyarch games in the past have received significant criticism for their handling of DLC dispensing, such as Call of Duty Black Ops 3, which by the end of its cycle had more supply job exclusive weapons than base weapons in the game. If I'm not mistaken, I do believe there was at least like 5 SMGs, there was like I believe 4 or 5 ARs, there was about 2 shotguns, 2 launchers, there was like three snipers and then the melee weapons were like 20, 21 melee weapons. It was ridiculous. Now, side note, I did have every single melee weapon in Black Ops 3. Whenever it came to the actual range weapons, I almost had every single one. I was near and close to actually getting them on until I stopped playing the game. 
But getting back on track with the article, the community has become so significant that senior members of the Treyarch team, such as David Von Har, have publicly denounced as they try to focus on their work. Now, like we said with the Ultra Weapon Bribe, this is going to be coming in on June 25th whenever the update does drop. Now, is it going to drop, as you guys know, with the past with Call of Duty? Anything can happen. It is a very weird way how Treyarch is running their business and how they're running this game. Because we see stuff come out and they say, oh, it's going to be on this date. Sometimes it does. Sometimes we just basically get debated and nothing even happens. So at this point, Treyarch is going to possibly be announcing our contracts on June 25th, which is a day from the time you guys have seen this video. So hopefully it is true. If contracts do come out, I will be posting a video all about the contracts and kind of showing you guys how they work and possibly even unlocking a few of the contracts just to show you guys kind of what it looks like and how it kind of what the animations and everything's going to look like. But other than that, that's all the information that I have for you guys. Hopefully you guys did go on to enjoy. Remember if you guys did go on to enjoy this video, do not forget to go ahead and drop a like. It's always much appreciated if you do so. And also if you guys are brand new to the channel, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe and go ahead and hit that notification bell so you guys are always notified when I post. If you guys want to head down in the description and follow me on any of my social medias or check out my sponsors and help support me. Sponsors are down there as well as the codes. Get yourself some discounts at any of the websites. And also my merch store is down there in the description down where it says merchandise. So go ahead and cop yourself some Hype Nation merch. But without further ado guys, it's been your boy Dean Hype. I'll catch you guys next one. Have a great day. Peace.